All right, let's look at some uh, modifications to the basic windowing structure. These are relatively simple, but they're handy. Um, I've created a new window and a new Glade. Um, this is episode 31, um, a new Glade file. So there's just a bunch of buttons here. Uh, change the window size. It's going to make a, it's going to modify the existing window side, size, move the window. It's an example of how you can move the window around your screen. Uh, change window title. Uh, the title bar can, will change. You can put anything up there you want. Uh, turn off the decorations, the title bar and the, um, and the uh, frame in which it's in, or turn them back on. You're going to be able to turn them back on or you won't be able to exit because I didn't have an exit button here. You have to use the X in the upper right hand corner. Um, go to full screen mode. Um, go off of full screen mode. Uh, so there's only there's a few of these. They're not very complicated. And these are all uh, basic uh, just buttons um, with a signal on wind size uh, clicked uh, and so forth. So I'm not going to dwell on that. But let's go to the code. Um, and the code is quite simple in that um, it's just button processing. And there's the buttons here. Um, there's wind size, move window, change title, so forth and so on. You can pretty much guess what they are without even going to the Glade. There's where I pull them out of the, uh, um, out of the XML file. There's one that's not there. It's, uh, well, there's a default size. I do set a default size. Um, this one here, it doesn't have a button. It could. Uh, it's keep window above. I've got it set to true, which means the window when it comes up will uh, try to be above any other windows. Uh, so anything else that's on the screen, as you'll see, will be behind it. This is sometimes very handy. You're also sometimes fighting the Windows Manager who may not like this. The Windows Manager very often is WMCTRL, and it could be run as a in a shell, and it has a lot of commands to play with this sort of thing as well. So uh, fighting with WMCTRL, um, WMCTRL will probably win, but this basically does work. Um, so the uh, window will be on top. Um, so that's the only real change there. Um, uh, let's see. Um, and I give a default, and everything else is pretty much the same. All right, let's look at these different buttons. Uh, you can see the buttons on the left here. On wind size clicked. Uh, window size. It'll go from its 700 by 700, which defaults on my screen to the upper uh, left-hand corner. Um, it'll switch to a 400 by 400. That's how you do it. If you want different numbers, go ahead and put different numbers in. You may get the numbers from a variety of sources. I don't know, but those numbers you put in here there will be the um, will be the dimensions of the window. Um, if possible, if the window requires more space, it's, it, it'll argue with you. And I believe it's horizontal first and uh, vertical second. Um, you can look it up. It, all you have to do is do a Google search on GTK window resize, and it'll tell you exactly what the parameters are. And since window was declared as a widget and not as a GTK window, I have to cast it into a, being a window in order for it to work. But it really is a window. Uh, but it's just stored in a GTK window, a GTK widget. The pointer to it is stored uh, in a pointer to widget. All right, move window. Um, again, I'm not using the button and from the button itself. I'm just playing around with the window. Same idea. And this moves the window to coordinates 400 by 400. Again, I believe it's horizontal first, vertical second. I suppose I could find out easily enough. But um, that will move the window from the, uh, the upper left-hand corner down to around here, uh, which is 400 by 400 on your screen. Uh, change title. Uh, you need a new title, so I decided to put the time of day in for the title. So I have a character string which has got the constant in it. Time now is bl colon blank. Um, I get the time. Uh, it's a time t variable. It's uh, because we're playing games with time as we're running out of uh, seconds um, and we're going to a longer structure. Uh, we're having our own Y2K in Linux. Um, but anyway, so I get the, the time function. Uh, don't forget, you'll have to put time dot uh, in a function that uses the time. You have to have time dot h. That's a little different than before. Uh, that's the header file for the time function. Okay, so I see time when given the address of the time of type time t uh, will return you a character string with the uh, with the current time and date. Um, that is a pointer to a character string that comes back, and I am copying it into 
beginning at the 14th position in the array temp, starting with zero, uh, position 13 is the 14th position, but it's starting at byte 13. So whatever this comes back as, this character string is going to be copied into the string beginning at uh, um, index or array position 13, which is the 14th. Which will be, um, in this string here, You would, if you calculate out, position 13 is where the null is. So this is dropping in on top of the null, and string copy will add an additional null. Notice the ampersand. I'm passing the address of byte um, 13 or 14, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's, it's, it's the 14th byte, but it's position 13 relative to 0. Uh, it's passing the address of it. You have to pass the address or... Um, the machine won't like you. Um, all right, uh, where's my cursor? It's up there. Um, so uh, I oh, oh, it also sends back a new line character. C time comes in with a new line character. I'm not sure why, but um, so I go out there and uh, put the put the null on top of the new line character. The length of, of temp minus one is the uh, position of the new line character, and I drop a null on top of it. Um, uh, it should be actually quote single quote backslash zero single quote to be purest about it, but I've been doing it this way a long time and it hasn't hit me yet. I suppose if you're in a in a in a um, non ASCII seven environment, something like something could happen, but I don't know. Uh, anyway, set window title. Now we just set the window title, and it will uh, take the value in temp and put it into the title bar. The title bar being this blue area up here. It's blue on mine because of the my choices I made in the um, uh, in the GDK window um, setup in uh, Linux Mint. Yours may be a different color, but that's the window bar up here we're talking about. All right, so that uh, there's the um, um, there is the change title. Decorations on, decorations off. The decorations are uh, these guys. The um, the the frame um, the, the, they'll disappear. Uh, and when they disappear, you can't drag. You, you, well, you can, but it, most people don't know how. You can't drag or uh, the uh, the window. The window just looks like a um, a tile. Um, it's kind of interesting. Um, you also lose this guy up here to uh, to be kill the window. So uh, turn it on. It's well, it's GTK a window set decorated to false. That pulls the decorations. The other button, it's the same function, sets it to true. Um, when, if you click the full screen button, uh, it will come down here and run the function GDK window full screen, which will take it to a night, it will take, uh, occupy the entire screen. Um, if you click the other button, it'll revert to its un full screen um, format, whatever it had before you went to full screen. So they're, they're not earth shattering, but they are handy to have. So um, let's, um, let's compile it. It's the same compilation script, and um, let me get rid of this in the back background. It's kind of um, a nuisance, but anyway, um, it's part one again. Okay, there it is. You see, it it, or, or it originates up in the upper. I can drag it, as you can see, uh, which is normal. Okay, change window size, and you see there it, it reduced uh, to 400 by 400 from whatever it was, 700. I, I didn't have, I don't have, didn't put a button in to go back to the original size. You can of course dr drag and drop the. Whoops, you can drag and drop the size. Well, I'm not getting it today, am I? All right, you could do something like that. And um, you click change window size, it goes back to the 400. The move window moves it to this position, and it's the upper left-hand corner, which is by default the, um, the the point that you're referring to. So now, so if I move it almost anywhere, it's going to move back there when I click on move window. All right, um, change window's title. Now you see there's the time of day. It's Sunday, May the 19th at... Uh, uh, 1.50 in the afternoon. If I click it again, uh, you'll see the time is updated a little bit uh, since the first time. I don't, whatever you want to put up there is your business. Decorations off, and you see it becomes a tile. You'll notice, by the way, this window here is behind it. Um, even though I'm clicking on this window, um, that's because this window was trying was that because of that call there to uh, make to try to make this window above. You could probably defeat it. I haven't tried it yet. Um, 
Let's see if I right click on that and I say always on top. I think that will defeat it. It did. Um, that's where uh, the window manager is coming in and overriding um, you. But by default, it was on top. You can run it again and it will go on top again. I don't actually have a button to do it. But um, okay, decorations are off, which means I can't drag it. Um, see, I'm trying to drag it. I'm holding down my mouse. You can hear me clicking on it. There's nothing. There's no bar to drag it up with. Um, so you can kind of, you know, tile your, your screen. Some people, however, might know how to drag it. This will depend on your Windows Manager. But if you hold down the left Alt button, now click on it, you can move it. Okay, it's left Alt and uh, move it. I, I'm not sure if the right Alt works. Yes, right Alt works as well. Um, left Alt is the one I normally use. But if, it's, if there's no, nothing to drag it with, you can, um, you can do it that way. Um, Okay, uh, full screen on, and now it's full screen. Everything, it's all and only. Um, you don't get any decorations in full screen anyway. Um, full screen off, and it goes back to the state it was in. If I turn the decorations on again, and I go to full screen, you see the full, full screen automatically pulls the decorations. If I go off, it comes back to the way it looked uh, beforehand. Uh, in full screen mode, of course, you're taking over the whole uh, whole console and um, you're going to be deciding what to do. What I'm going to try to do in the next um, the next video is show how to drag. If, if you create uh, containers in the window, how to drag containers in the window, but they are belong to the window. So if you move the windows, the containers move as well. Uh, that's a little more complicated. It's not terribly difficult, but... Um, I will take a look at that separately. So, in other words, if I had, uh, if I was in full screen mode, I might have a, a, a variety of boxes around here containing things, and I could drag and drop them around in the context of this, of this particular uh, window, and the dragging and dropping would not be done by the Windows Manager. So, um, I'm back here, and I can uh, kill it, and uh, that's the end for this brief video. Uh,